the significance of the United Negro College Fund for this nation is the ability to keep building our future. Not only are we our brother's keepers, we are sister's keepers, but most importantly, we're the keeper of hope for future generations. And what the United Negro College Fund has done as it has funded institutions across this country, create the ability for young people to walk into those colleges and be able to be educated. It's saying that this is real. It's real the opportunity I can have. And it's also saying the way someone has been there for you, the opportunity becomes for you to be there for someone else. It was the United Negro College Fund that gave me my opportunity. It was the big banner of my hope. This wall represents the image of some of the most extraordinary people I've met in my lifetime. President Barack Obama. We can indeed create incredible leaders across this country. First Lady Michelle Obama. And you are every day in a community like Milwaukee seeing the fruits of the investment incredible leaders in the public school system, at the utility, in the banking industry, we're everywhere. And we may not wear the UNCF uh, logo on every shirt, but anytime you get a moment, ask someone, have you heard of the investment of the United Negro College Fund? And they'll say to you, my sister, my brother, my friend, my daughter, received financial support from the United Negro College Fund, and that's why they're educated today. I was born in a small farm community in the heart of the Mississippi Delta, a community that early in my life suggested what I could and could not do because of the color of my skin. This is a picture of my mom and dad. They had 11 children. I don't care how dark it was at night when daddy came home, he said the same thing. I want you all to be educated. On May 12th, I graduated from high school in 1972 chopping cotton in one of those fields where the rows were so long. And we looked up and we saw my aunt and uncle's car coming down the road. My aunt got out and she said, we got a phone call. Thelma has been admitted to Clark College in Atlanta, Georgia. I've always wanted to have the opportunity to see all of the world. And that first day, going to Atlanta, walking onto the college campus of Clark College, I began the journey. My English instructor, she said, I heard your voice and I know you have a gift and I'm going to help you learn to use your gift to be the words for other people. She gave me a box filled with cassettes and a tape recorder. I have a dream that one day Dr. King's speeches, Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, even the state of Mississippi will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. She said, I want you to listen to these so you become comfortable with the power of words. What would I say to the United Negro College Fund team that made the decision to honor me today? I would say to them, thank you. Not just about my recognition, but thank you for the courage to make the investment and in young people like me all over the country.